I want to do the intro so bad, but. It is Friday, um, November 13th, 10.31 in the morning. And I feel such a peace. I feel so relaxed. I've been here for about an hour and change. And y'all, I came. I haven't been to the beach in a minute to just sit and just inhale and exhale. Okay? Y'all, Self-care is so important. It is so important. But what made me calm is um, I was transparent with you guys. If you follow me on social media, then you would know what I'm talking about. But um, I, the other day I had two emotional breakdowns. And then I felt the third one coming on. But instead of entertaining it, I decided to go on Instagram live and pray and speak the word of God and encourage myself and anybody else that may have been feeling the way that I was feeling. And for the past couple of days in my affirmations, um, cause you, you guys know I, I love affirming and I have to speak life over myself, right? I got to a point where in my affirmations, no, before that, I started to compare myself. I started to compare my process to other people. And I had to repent. I had to, I had to ask God for forgiveness and I had to forgive myself because I, as I always say, your anointing is not the next person's anointing. It can be very similar, but it is still different. And you have to be reminded that your process and somebody else's process is not the same. It can be similar, but it's not the same. Because, baby. So, and I started to get in my feelings a little bit. And I had to come to a place where I had to come to a place and ask myself why am I not maximizing the way that I know I can maximize what is the root what is the what is the hold up like what is the hold up and all that led up to where I started to feel like the underdog yeah Y'all, I started to feel like the underdog. And y'all know me. I'm always going to look up definitions. You know what I'm saying? So, while I was out with Bay, and 
and he was driving. I love when he's home because he drives. And I was struggling with feeling like the underdog. And I looked up the definition and it says, an underdog is a person or group in a competition, usually in sports or creative works, who is prop popularly expected to lose. Who is expected to lose. The party, team, or individual expected to win is called the favorite or top dog. In the case where the underdog wins, the outcome is an upset. One thing about me, I don't push to be in competition with nobody but who I was the day before. Because I strive to grow, I strive to increase, I, I strive to elevate, I strive to emerge and evolve. I embrace change. I embrace these, I embrace these things, okay? And I had to come to a conclusion and understand that I am not an underdog. I am not, and neither are you, especially if you feel the way that I do, where you feel like, I know there's a lot of us that do the same line of work, okay? But at the same time, there's enough room, there's enough floor, there's enough people, there's enough regions, there's enough territory for all of us to eat. Just like when you go to the bread aisle, there is how many different kinds of bread, all right? It's just, I'm called to a set of people and you're called to a set of people. So there's no need for me to compete with you. So if there's no need for me to compete with you, then there's no need for me to feel like the underdog. Now I may understand that there may be individuals who feel as if you're not you're not you're not qualified or you may not have the swag, you may not have the creativity, you may not have the popularity, you may not have that platform. So they count you out already and they're like you know what she's gonna lose because you don't look like them but understand I don't look like you for a reason I look like me because this is I have a set of people I need to reach my audience is not your audience and your audience is not my audience that even though there may be times where we may be able to feed each other's audience or feed each other's platform but once again there's no need for a competition so why do I feel like the underdog this is my confessions y'all this is my confessions but I am not the underdog I am not the underdog and neither are you so I had to affirm that I am not the underdog there's always room for us to step our game up but the reason you feel that way is because of your mindset. Is it because of how you view yourself? Because you have to understand people going to treat you how you carry yourself. People going to treat you how you present yourself. People are going to treat you how you show up. So you have to be mindful of how you show up. You have to be mindful. You are emerging daily. You are evolving daily. You are changing daily. You are shifting daily. Let it be for the good and embrace it. Let us stop walking in fear. At the end of the day, if you feel as if you don't have the, the support now, the support is going to come. The team is going to come. But you have to be consistent. Stop shutting down. Stop comparing yourself. Stop being in competition with other people. Stay in your lane. Go at your pace or the pace that God is, is, is having you to move. So I came to the beach. 
I prayed, I cried, I laughed, I smiled, went into my thinking tank, I inhaled, I exhaled, I stretched. I put my feet in the water and I left everything there. Every worry, every negative thought, anything that is not going to help me propel and catapult forward, I left it. And when I put my feet in the water, I stepped on a rock. But I say all this to say this, I am not the underdog. And the people that counted me out, the people that excluded me, the people that talked about me in secret, I love you. I forgive you. I forgive myself. Because baby, moving forward, I'm going to be mindful how I show up. But, cousin, I love you, cousin. I love you, cousin. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. But in order for you to be my cousin, you gotta hit that subscribe button and you gotta hit that bell. All right? The wind is blowing. It is so gorgeous out here. So, let's go, cuz, I'm hungry. I dropped my daughter off to school, and I came straight here. I am not the underdog, neither are you. Remember, you have victory on every side. Thank you.